Okay, now I want you to make the time show 7.30. The big hand and the little hand. Yeah. And then 30? What are the 30? It's a half hour. Yeah, where would that go? Um, yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Very good. Struggling. Struggling. Mm. <coughs> so, I, what else are we got to do on that one? Oops. Let's see here. So a mini mental status chest test. So you're definitely struggling. I'm gonna might be you're a little nervous, duck bums, you know, I'm a pretty scary guy, so but but you're struggling. Yeah, I knew, I knew it was. That's why I kept the, the appointment. And I wanna when you, when a person comes in with memory change loss, more difficulty. The differential is dementia like your sister. Mm -hmm. Could be an element of depression. I think there is an element of it. Yeah. Is that the entire cause of it? I don't know. I'm, I don't know. I don't no, know. I think part of it is my husband's attitude. Yeah. Does he that makes me. Yeah, it makes you depressed about it. Uh, so I, I am concerned about some dementia. When a person comes in to the doctors and they come in with dementia, they, the other things I'm supposed to do, I'm supposed to scan your brain. I had one lady came in about six months ago, and she had a meningioma, benign tumor, and that was the cause of her, you know, memory loss. And her move, she's fine. Hmm. So you got to scan the brain, make sure there's nothing up there. Your son James would tell me forever that there's nothing up there. I yeah, well, I, was, I don't want to add to her depression, but I was going to say it's probably genetic, because I think... So, scan your noggin, check a thyroid test, even though you had one about a month ago, but it was starting to head to a direction, but I bet you it's fine. A B B12, vitamin B12, B12 deficiency can cause dementia. Oh. And you do those tests... And then I drag your butt back in here, and if you can bring the big guy with you, that would be mm -hmm. awesome. To, he lives to in help. Massachusetts. Oh, maybe not. Gonna... That's okay. No, that's all right. Uh, well, I'll have a telecommunication. Because well, it takes me an hour to get here, so it's not, you know. Because uh, if all these tests come back normal, I suspect you will. Mm. You just got to make sure nothing else is going on. Right. Yeah. No, I see. I see. And then... I would say, yeah, you, you got the routine, you know, classic dementia, mm -hmm. and there are medicines out there that can do this for us. Now, I'm, I'm going, I'm jumping ahead. Mm. Sorry, I'm jumping ahead. No, that's okay. <clears throat> These medicines, as a person's memory starts to fail and fail and fail and fail and fail, you put them on the medicines, all of a sudden, da, 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 da. Steady. and without the medicine, yeah. And the sooner we start, you know, the less we lose. That's why I came. I'm glad you're here. Yeah. And there's very rare, I got one case, but otherwise, no. When you go on the medicines, you tend not to go up. Mm. One guy did. I don't know if he really did, or maybe mm. I, I don't know. But, yeah. but most people, you level off. For a few years, and then mm -hmm. it kind of catches up. Again. Yeah, all mm -hmm. of a sudden. Oh. And the real question, Dr. Baum, is for me, this is the, um, I'm on the fence. So I'm going to do the test. Okay. I'm going to get the CAT scan. So I'm going to drag you back in here to go over those results and talk about these other medicines that can do this. Mm -hmm. if, or we find something, fix that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> The question I'm facing, you pay him, Dr. Baum, the big bucks, is do we try 
an antidepressant to see if you get any benefit from that. Because I do think there's a mild element of depression, but I'm, what I don't know is the depression because of the dementia and your husband sort of old yeah. school style. I mean, he's not a bad guy. He's a great he's guy. Like, he's just that... He's and, just and, quick on, you know... And just in that generation. Yeah. Yeah, my dad, he's 85. He, he, he doesn't give his... You know, he's, he's tough. Mm. He's in that generation, you know? Yeah. Yeah, because I just turned 83. And so the question is, do I try a mild antidepressant? See if you get any mileage out of it. Then I don't want to be throwing drugs and 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 drugs and, you know... Because I might be adding more medicines after that. Yeah. So that's my dilemma. I never thought of you as a depressed person. Have you had? Have you been suffering with depression a little bit all along? I mean, I think not too long ago, but I mean, I just, just this sad. emotional. That's classic for depression. Yeah. I know it's not the whole story. Mm. I don't think it is, but there's a tincture of depression there. Yeah. What about um? What about um? Uh, therapy, you know. Um, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if that's <laughs> therapy. I mean that 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 with the skills. antidepressants. Those are great for coping skills. Yeah. You go talk to a therapist and you say, "Tell me about your life. You know, you must have been abused as a kid or something oh, like that." No, you know? I yeah. Think that well, I mean, it gives you someone to talk to, and it kind of sometimes yeah. you kind of. It's almost like a placebo where you think you're. Yeah, yeah but then you're when not you really. Leave, when you leave, then it's over. And then no, it's but you. Yeah, but it makes you think. Makes you become introspective sometimes. You think about yourself, and you, someone pays attention to you, and it's you know. It's not a bad idea. It tends to work better for the younger crowd, just to be honest. Yeah. Your generation tends not to do that well with therapy. Okay. This is not making a generic, generalized, generalized. No, well, they would, and they would, they would go with the antidepressants along with that too. Most likely, I would think typically they. You know. So I'm going to probably lean towards trying a real baby dose of something. Okay. The one I might try would be something like Lexapro. It's generic, but you you'll get a scalatrol up. Right. The benefit of Lexapro is the following: clean, 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 once a day. It's cheap, cheap, cheap. It's generic. Fast onset. Fast onset. It's not that fast, but it's the fastest onset. Mm. Starts working in two weeks. Two weeks, Dr. Mom? Yeah, it takes a couple of weeks. Mm. Other meds take three or four. Mm. Mm. Okay. So I figured maybe I try a little Lexapro. Can I have you drag you back in here in three to four weeks after you get this stuff and, and, and see what the effect of the antidepressants done? Uh, what, how will I know? I mean, these will slowly... Yep. Yep. You'll, you'll know. I you'll won't know. have in patients day. come in saying, "God, I can't believe how much lighter I feel, better I feel." When, when my husband gives me a hard time, I don't care anymore. <laughs> Give me a hard time, it doesn't stick, it doesn't hurt. There's no pain. It's like, yeah, I just, I just mm -hmm. yeah, I don't but I'm, I'm very, I'm very sensitive anyway. And your sensitivity will be a lot less sensitive. So I might give you a trial, but I also want to let you know that I'm not sure depression's the whole answer here, but I think it's worth a shot at trying. And that'll well, give me an answer to see how much improvement you get between now and when you come back, and I, meanwhile I get to these other tests. I think it's because I'm in the house all day long. Hmm. Every day. I don't get out. Could be. And, and I'm, I don't get out because <coughs> I'm, I'm not positive of my driving. I mean, I haven't had an accident yet. But, but have you gotten lost driving? No, you know, I when I go with Jimmy, and you know, I'll think, now how will I find my way hmm. when I'm going by myself? And this is what makes me not go. Has not gotten lost, but does not feel as comfortable driving. Mm -hmm. Did you, uh, Susan? I thought Susan told me that when she was here, that you had a, um, that you were uh, disoriented at some point while you were driving. No. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. I would only But I wasn't driving. Kim, oh, Susan was driving. Oh, oh, she was asking you for directions. In, in directions, oh, okay. yeah, right. yeah. I would ask well, that's, you, that's similar, though. I, mean, I, I yeah. would yeah. ask you now to, for driving to go to places you are rock solid. Yeah. You know, the Hannafords or... That's, uh, that's the only story. Mm. I know. You know what I mean? <laughs> that 
They were the ones that in you could go. I go a little further. In something mile. like you know. No, just it's my now. dream. Yeah, yeah. But if somebody says, "Come on over to the house," remember I lived. You gotta take their reg, you take their lift. I, you know, I ain't gonna I'll never get there. No, I wouldn't attempt it. Who does the bills in the house? Is your do, do Jim? You? Jim takes care. Of Okay, so I'm going to get, get that little generic Lexapro, 10 mil, full dose. There's, what's really nice about Lexapro, which I like it, there's only two doses, so it's hard to mess up. 10 milligrams baby dose, 20 milligrams full dose, so just find the 10. You know, all the meds got 10, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 100, right This one I'm just going to try. How, uh, how many times a day? Once a day. Take it with any other medicine you want. Take it okay. in conjunction to get along. These little interactions. Ah, I'm tight. That yeah, worked. And then uh, I got to order these foolish tests. You got to get them done. Sometimes you catch stuff. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah, something will show up all the time. That you think, oh my God, that's what I want. You know, bonehead, why didn't you get that done? Sarah, do you have other thoughts, that, ideas that we sh I should, any other interesting, or any other points? No, I think you, you covered everything that I was going to ask you. I was going to ask you, you know, typically what to, you know, what your what the evaluation consists of. But yeah, and then the obviously the uh, ruling out any other underlying. Yeah, areas. right. Any other contributors? Yeah, to that. Check um, your electrolytes. You know, check your thyroid. You know, check your B twelve. Scan of your noggin. Mm. Where are we? No contrast. That's an easy one. Now, when you do a CAT scan, I can ask you some foolish questions too. Okay. All right. CT scans are easy. Advanced imaging. Now, chances are you're not pregnant, right? That's just me going on that limb. Probably not. Sorry. Well, I think, yeah, I think you're telepathic. So, so I'm going to put down no. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm, gonna, sure. I'm going to take a gun, go, go on that limb and say no, she ain't pregnant. Mm. <laughs> Again, they gotta, they gotta know that, you know. And other than that, it's all pretty easy. So there's that, and the CT scan, and then the Lexapro, and then... The worst news of the entire day. So I'm going to dra drag you back in here. I don't know, three weeks or so, four weeks, I don't know, whatever's convenient, you know. Oh, I, I, if things were, were getting worse, I wouldn't wait, I'd call you. Yeah, but I want, yep, I want to see, because it takes a few weeks for the Lexapro to work. Oh, okay. Where do I send this prescription? What's your pharmacy? Hannaford. Okay. The Hannaford in Scarborough? Right, right. There she goes. It's in the it's in their computer. If you drive by, you'll pick it up on the way home or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So we will figure this out for you. Okay. Sounds good. Very good. All right. I'm done. I've had enough of you. <laughs> Get out. I, I wanted my son to meet you.